Kitchen. We are here today just giving you guys a quick walkthrough and telling you all about all the goodies in here. Because who doesn't like snooping in other people's houses? <laughs> Let's so be here, honest. Here's your snoop. So we'll start with my favorite piece because this is like my favorite section of my kitchen right here. I had kitchen cabinets in here before, but they were like this big. The first thing I did was build a vent. I got a ductless vent hood on Amazon and then I designed this piece around it. It's actually so simple because I used plywood as my base and then got wood from Reclaim Design Works as a trim out and it's like that thin material that we've used before. It's super easy. I used encaustic tile. I found a tile shop. It's a backsplash. I really wanted to do this on the whole wall but I couldn't afford it. So I just did a small inset and then everything else is tile that I found also on Amazon. These are white thin subway tiles and then I did a dark grout on the inside. So that wall just, it just makes me happy. And then this? Yes, so that's another thing from my old cabinets. I had those wood scrollies. Scrollies, yes, I had a wood scrollie. And it just, to me, stylized the kitchen so much. Like, kind of shabby chic. Yeah, my old yeah. style, which mm -hmm. I appreciated at a time, but right. I don't anymore. So when I pulled that off, I just felt like it was a great way to marry the two. I wanted to bring some of that reclaimed wood down here. I did give it a really good coat of finish, just because I know how messy I am when I cook and everything else. That so, way you can wipe it down. Exactly. I went with Whirlpool for everything because that's what I had before and it's affordable but it still looks pretty so I did that. What color are your paints? Let's tell okay, your paint yes. colors. So my trim and my door colors are all pure white which now I want to do in my whole entire house. I actually did the walls in this color too. I did a Dover gray on the cabinets. A lot of grays can give off a purpley blue yes. tint to them and yes. this one's very gray. It does. It's it's it, it's so hard to find a good gray. So it is. I did the ceilings that color too. Cute signs from a friend of ours on Instagram. We'll tag to her as well. And then moving on over here. Guys, these are like the greatest Walmart, things right? ever. Walmart, Pioneer Woman. Way to go, Ree. She did so awesome on these. So I just love these. Ashley found some great matching glasses. They're all that recycled glass. These are Target. Target. These are from West Elm. And Whitney built this shelving piece right here. Yeah. I love it because it oh she did have the cabinets and they stuck out a little bit more. This opens it up a whole lot more. That's how kitchen, I felt. I, I felt like it wasn't so dark. A friend of ours welded the metal for me and he's in Dallas and sells on Etsy so we can link to him too. But he made the brackets for me and then I designed the shelves. Everything is attached to anchors in the ceiling as well as anchors in this wall. I used the same tile as I did on that wall. Tell them about the, these. Oh my these goodness. So I get asked about these things all the time. So these are called Montana jars. You can find them at Target with like silver tops, but I found some with black lids on Amazon. I'll link to them. These are the two gallon size. I believe they're the largest you can find. Cheap as dirt. And um, I just put things that I use all the time. So I have flour, sugar, Bisquick and oatmeal. That's it. And I, I, I probably would should have switched one for coffee because I use that a lot more than some of these others. But cheese balls. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> but it cleared cheese balls. But if we're being honest, <laughs> I should have cheese balls and. Doritos and what else for the kit croutons? <laughs> yeah, I can see croutons by themselves too. Let's talk countertops. We worked with Cambria on this renovation and they have beautiful quartz countertops. There's so much I love about quartz countertops. They, they make me so happy. We love this line. It looks like marble, but you can't destroy it like you can marble. You can spill wine on it. You can, like I can pull pans out of the oven and set them on there and it doesn't burn. She uh, has six kids now, so she needs a massive peninsula. I need mean, all the bar stools and all the bar space and we don't have an actual other kitchen table that we sit at. We did have um, a bar height area here above the sink that I ripped out. Which and I think I did the exact same thing to my mm -hmm. kitchen and that is like the best decision I think that we both made. made for our kitchens. I thought having two levels of bar, I would like it more because I could have a messy kitchen sink yeah. and nobody would see it, but I felt like my kitchen was closed in. It did. It's amazing what a difference it makes. Then I just went with eight counter height bar stools that seats my entire family and a few guests. My lights I absolutely adore. I don't have a ton of light in this space, so I went with something that was exposed. It kind of gave it that industrial look mm -hmm. and I found them on Amazon. I think they were like 30 or 40 bucks a pop. I'll look them up and link to them. Under this area right here, so I used to have lower cabinets down here. Oh my gosh, if y'all saw what I pulled out of those cabinets, holy guacamole, it was sinful. Like just so, it's my craft cabinets that have now moved to the shop in the garage. Um, I tore those out because it gave me access to two more bar stools over here. I worked with Osborne on these legs that I um, built kind of a 
Just, what would you call this? I don't know what you call it. It's a peninsula. It's an island. It's a, but an island standalone. So I think yeah. it's more of a peninsula. It's a peninsula. But it just gave us more seating area and it opened up this kitchen, which I love. Down at our feet, which I hope the floor's slightly clean. This is, I get asked about all the time. It's my flooring. I found it at the tile shop. It is made to look like old barn wood. People ask all the time, what is it? And it's ceramic tile, so it's pretty cool. It does um, feel like there's it does. Nails I mean, it even has it. texture to it. It's amazing. It's cleaned well. You can't tear it up. It's been great. So, I mean, it certainly gets dirty in the summer, especially, but I'm so pleased with it. And um, my hardware, I found a great seller. Brass hardware is really hard to find affordable. I found a girl on Etsy who has a wonderful shop, Forge Hardware, and I can link to her too. And we're talking about hardware. It matches mm -hmm. your faucet that we didn't yes. talk about. Come back, Come back over heaven. to the sink. Come back over here. Um, real quick. So, Ashley and I both, I'm shocking, went with the same sink. I've always wanted an apron front sink. I love it so much. We found these on Overstock. They're like $700 each. Yes, I found the faucet on Amazon as well. Or was that Overstock? Wayfair. Wayfair. So I found my, and I'll link to that. And You ordered all the stuff and I remember where it's all from. Okay. <laughs> One of the things I did when the, with the renovation that I love is the push button disposal since everything's so exposed now. And although my five-year-old loves to play with it as well, but it just makes things so nice. And it's right there to turn on. You don't have to open the cabinet door on the bottom or anything. So that was a really good decision. Everybody will ask about the recycled glass soap dispenser. <laughs> I know they will. Yes. Well, I found the dispenser itself at Bed Bath & Beyond, and then I found the little pump out on Amazon, and then I also copied one of Ashley's ideas, uh, the corbel. Yes, right in the corner right here. We actually have a video. I have a lot of these openings that aren't cased in my house. I love a good cased opening, but the ones that aren't, we think it's fun to kind of add some corbels or something artistic and, up there. And that's only about $5. It takes maybe about 30 minutes to build, and mm -hmm. it adds, I think it adds so much character. Moving over to probably my most used area of the house, of the whole house, is my coffee cabinet. It is one of my favorite projects because it's one of my most used. I built it to fit my giant Keurig machine and all the K-cups and all the cups. Just pull it out. And there are plans for that on our site. Of course, we'll be linking to those. And then the top, it just gave me a fun place to kind of decorate with all the coffee things. So Ashley found us some cute mugs at Target. I found some yesterday that we'll be ordering that are cute too. We like to change those out. What I love about this too is that a lot of people don't have a lot of counter space. They don't have, maybe they don't even have a spot in their kitchen for a coffee bar. Yeah. But you've got a spot somewhere in your house that you can put a kind of a console yes. that is storage, but it's also your your coffee yes. cabinet. Yeah, and I like to decorate with coffee too because it just makes me happy. So this is like, it's like one of my favorite little sections. Do you want to go over right. your shades? Oh, these shades. are kind of cool. That's, that is one change I made. We do get questions about shades all, all the, the time. time. My last shades I had hanging there for over five years. So I'm like, if, if I'm going to spend $200 on something that I'll use over the next five, maybe longer years. These are great though because they are cordless. Uh -huh. So you don't have to mess with the cord. You don't have to worry about it with your kids. And you pull them down, and then when you push them up, they go back into place. I've got them in my house, and I love them. And yeah, so I think that pretty much covers it, guys. We're going to make some coffee. We're going to go make coffee, and we'll see you guys next time.